Today we get our poop together. Not literally. Poop is another word for sh. Where's our iron golem and why has this thinned out so much? I have not been in here a while. Okay, villagers have died. People have died. Or maybe not. I think I've moved a few people to their respective locations. You still in here, buddy? Please tell me you are. What is wrong with this game? Didn't we move someone in here or am I great? Wonderful, grand. Well, you know what? That is part of the process, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna try to make it as mob proof as possible, but we need, uh oh, is it night type? We gotta get these guys bred up and named and placed in their locations. So let's do that. Make me more of my subscribers. Yes, you will run this world one day. Mr. Bildenov. Flying through my lab, deedle deedle doo. Instead of you just having the name receptionist, we need to just actually turn you into someone. So Mr. Bildenov, that is gonna be your name. You've survived a long time, so you're most likely not gonna die. Now, I believe this guy's still in here. We had to replace him not too long ago. I hate this game. I hate this game. I'm guessing a mob spawned in here or something. I, I just I just don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> uh, no one survives in this dang place. Why are... They need to redo villagers. Am, am I right or am I wrong? They are so vulnerable. It's like, do they have no sense like how do they have whole villages out in the world somewhere when they can't even survive as soon as that village is loaded they'll get freaking destroyed <laughs> this is how this game works i think they should make them more resilient all right you don't have a name yet you're gonna be dr kt pepitone what was yours you're melvin right yeah okay we got three babies now looking good i'm just guessing they just despawn randomly that just it's like a bug in this game or something because no mob can spawn in here they don't spawn in these dark spots like they used to. My theory is this game's a bunch of bullcrap. Guess what, Dr. KT Pepitone? You're going to study copper, even though we know everything we need to know about copper. Uh, this is going to be your job. Okay, so this wall, all these walls in here... No, you're staying here. I have something on the other side, so I guess I'm just going to hide the bed right there. There you go. No? Do I have to go break his original bed? I almost feel like they overcomplicated how hard it should be to change the, you know, everything. <laughs> Go to sleep, Pepitone. I don't like your tone, Pepitone. You good boy? You sleeping? Oh, he is. There we go. Okay, that is going to be his responsibility. If he dies, he dies. Um, we're just going to see how long he lasts. I think that's the fun part with this, though. It's like, wherever the villagers go, it's going to be a matter of life or death. Oh, my God. You still have the smoker problem? Gotta take all the smokers real quick. You good? Ah, yes. What are you? Shepherd. What does a shepherd use? A loom? What, what, where'd you find a loom? Pepitone? Has anyone seen a loom? Have you seen a loom? Now you're a librarian. Now you're a shepherd. Dude, what, what? Actually, the thing is, I don't even care what his job is. I just want his job to be in here. And the thing that's right, I got two things right next to him that he won't take. He's taking things that are nowhere to be seen. You did it. So I can take this off. You're going to use that. Stay, Pepitone. All right, that went smooth as butter. Who's next? Eh, got to wait for all these children to grow up. Okay, I will stand here like a hawk. And watch you grow every inch of your life. Oh, that was fast. Okay. They grew up so fast. <laughs> Professor Riffs, I gotta save you for something special. Dr. Wine. This guy's gonna whine about everything. Hey, Dr. Wine, how you doing? Follow me. I have a wonderful idea. Oh, I need to put on my scientist uniform. So, we have a classroom right here. I'm gonna turn some of the donors into students, and it's always gonna be random. Whatever you get is what you get. And I'm also gonna have a teacher in here. We're gonna see how long they survive. That sounds terrible. The thing is, I replaced these pressure pads with, oh. Oh, but the outdoor pressure pads, that's how monsters can get in. Son of a gun, son of a gun, Pepitone. Say, look, look at me care. Boom. <laughs> He's like, thanks. Yeah, we can only use one door, that's fine. He looks so miserable. You look like Anthony Davis. But my good idea, I was saying, is we're going to put some in here. And as well, this giant abandoned office section that I never knew what to do. Let's actually turn it into an office section. So over here, we're going to have 
the office, of course. Uh, so we're gonna have someone that runs this office. They'll go in here. And then I'm gonna create a bunch of desks in here. I'm gonna light this place up. And each desk is going to be maybe just working on something different. Maybe it's gonna be paperwork for the lab. Whoops, I need that. And then of course we'll mob proof the place. I'll put a golem in here. Okay, so first off, we gotta get rid of all of these shelves. I'm surprised I never put up lighting in here. Wait. Ooh, it's right at the right level too. I can use sea lanterns because we know we have enough of those now. The hardest part about trying to figure out lighting for the ceiling is making it all align perfectly. <laughs> Two, three, boom. Well, first try. Wow, that never happens. Off we go with Dr. Wine. No whining, okay? That sounds like a whine to me. Okay, hopefully I have this place set up properly to where these guys will. Oh, I need doors. Hang on, wine. Oh, I'm glad you already took a job. Door right here, and then I have another one over here. Um, I can fit, I think, three people in here so far, so I'm gonna have someone at the office and then a couple workers out here. Okay, we got our golem set up in here. Um, okay, I want, uh, what are you? What the heck are you? Okay, I'm gonna get rid of these first. He took these. Change to that over here, please. Professor Melvin. But why are you still that? Is that it? Does he want this robot's body? That has to be it. Oh, there's stuff in here too that he'll take. Oh, I have to get rid of everything. Okay, I'll, I'll be right back. God. What are you now? Why are you? There you are. What? What? You're a, what? How, how are you a leather worker? Where do you see a cauldron, buddy? I don't see a cauldron anywhere. I think he literally tracked the cauldrons that he can't even see in his line of sight all the way over here. That's a good way to do it. Give villagers a line of sight, and what's ever in their line of sight is what they choose to have. What the? Did you get out? Oh, no, that's normal guard. What the? Okay. Y'all aren't supposed to do that in this office. What are you? Oh, doc okay, uh, that's Dr. Wine. Melvin, what are you now? What? Hey, Barbie. How's your daddy doing? What job does he have now? Where's your daddy? There you are. Aha! So that means you took this one. So now if I break this, you should take one of those jobs over there. Correct? Yes. All of that. All of that to get this guy here. Okay, you're going to be Dr. Fugel. You're a professor, I understand. You stay the same. Is that nitwit? Wait. I'm saving you. Someone wants to actually be a nitwit. Someone requested it. <laughs> All right, Dr. Fugel, get in the boat. Okay, Dr. Fugel, you're going to be a professional in the entity research section of the lab. Yeah, we actually haven't been in here in a while. Um, I updated it a little bit by the light. Oh, God. Why? Is there a lumen here? There better be a lumen. There's no lumen here. Whatever. Oh, you changed. You're a leather worker. Still not in here. You're a blacksmith now? Huh? I know I don't need to be updating you on this, but I actually have to take apart my whole desk. My whole desk. Just to get someone's profession right. That's how silly this game is. <laughs> Fugle, that better have been it. Or we're gonna throw hands. Ha! <laughs> Knew it. Alright, he's set. Alright, now I'm gonna take that nitwit to a place because... Someone requested when they donated that they wanted to be a nitway out in the middle of nowhere. And I'm like, okay. And I've got the perfect location for him. Oh yeah, I should also mention that some of my villagers I've been giving names like Mr. And I, I honestly don't remember if some or, or who were female donators. So if I accidentally give you a Mr. and you're a female, just let me know, I guess. <laughs> All right, you nitwit. What? What? They can't get a job, can they? Once they're a nitwit, they're always a nitwit. You're gonna be simple, Rick, and I have a location for you in mind. So, follow me. Don't go near that door. Don't. Oh, 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 there we go. go, go, go. Nice. Sometimes I forget about this cabin in the woods. This would be a perfect place for you. But your life expectancy it doesn't look good out here because, well, you're surrounded by woods and you have a wooden door. We'll just see how long he lasts. We'll check up on him every once in a while. Oh! Oh, he took the bed! Oh, sweet. So, I could 
Yeah, I forgot I don't have to sign you a job. You're just you're just gonna live here. Because you're simple Rick. This is your house. I'm giving you this house. I poured my blood, sweat, and tears into making this thing. It's pretty nice. It's supposed to be my vacation house, but well, it's yours. Happy birthday. Alright, good talk. He's just standing there. Menacingly. Go inside. Go inside your house. You know you want to. Is he gonna shut the door? <laughs> Good luck, buddy. Nah. It's always nice coming here when you forget you built this, you know? Man, I spent so much time in here and we barely come here. <laughs> when I do come here, it's just to hop into the end portal real quick. We're over here because I... Well, if you remember, we did a thing not too long ago where we sent a villager to the end, and that villager is going to be named after the person who, I think it was just a random person I had follow me on Instagram and comment on my latest post. So yeah, uh, we're going there to finally take him to the space station because I feel like I kind of neglected that. What was his name? Captain D. Clark. I think that was it. He's still here. Hey, how have you been? Kind of lonely out here, right? Oh, you acknowledged me. Okay, so only thing about this is, is I'm gonna have to remake that whole bridge that I took down, but I'm gonna make it out of dirt this time, and I'm going to use rails to get him over there. I don't know, that's awfully far. Hope I brought enough. I can't believe that thing is still out there. Might be enough. Yeah, we're good. Oh. Hmm. All right, just like that, we're in the space station. Now, I should probably make a cockpit or something of this sort. What are these? Beds. Oh, I didn't think, will he, how will villagers behave here? Will they have a night, like a night, day, day, night cycle? What if he hopped into bed and just blew up? <laughs> oh, that'd be terrible. Oh, I got rid of the beds. Okay, he'll be fine here. I don't. Endermen obviously don't attack him. Mobs don't spawn, so he'll just wander these halls and hopefully never despawn. <laughs> I forgot about our escape pods. Yeah, <laughs> gotcha. Too slow. Oh, please tell me I did this slope correctly. I really don't want to do it. Awesome. All right, I like that. Keep going. Obviously didn't do any right here because I can just push him. Or he's just gonna go the whole way. It's like, what is this place? <laughs> this is your new home, buddy. What do you think? Uh -huh. That didn't sound too enthusiastic. We'll probably get more people out here. Um, only problem is, this was the last villager at the village of our stronghold portal. Where the, yeah, stronghold is. <laughs> and, well, we would have to go through the effort of getting another villager from another village, which there is one nearby, but um, if you guys, any more of you would like to come out here and have a permanent place here, that'd be, I can do it, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure how he's gonna react here. This is gonna be interesting. Just study stuff, do things. <laughs> I think he'll survive. He has a name tag, so I don't think he'll despawn. Plus we're not always here loading it, so I think he'll be all right. Now, while we're here, I want to go ahead and test this. Um, so every time I've searched for an end city here, I would always look off in that direction. Mainly because this little portal right here took us in that direction, but I've never looked over here, and I want to see if there are end islands over in this direction. Oh my god, there are. Jesus. And these have never been loaded before, so these won't be chunky. Oh, looky there. Yeah. Ooh, some new latcher wings. Oh my. Oh. Mending. Oh. Oh. Nice. Oh my god. That's a good chest plate. You know, since I'm getting all this mending gear, I'm, I'm not there yet, but once I obtain all mending armor, I, I'm gonna go ahead and make like a full set of mending armor. Well, netherite armor. Eh, just because I've never done it, why not, you know?
We're back. I was hoping it would put me in. I always, I always remember that my spawn changed. And I saw there is a way to change it. And I might give it a shot sometime. I missed spawning right here. I still remember the exact block. It was like right here. Hey everyone, welcome to episode one. And then we, okay, I see this too much. <laughs> hey, there's a remnant of the, <gasps> the leaves stayed. Oh, the leaves of our first cut down tree. I'm getting weird, but I'm taking one. Oh, we own a leaf block from the first tree we've ever cut down. Whoa, is that a crafting table? Oh no, it's older. <laughs> This is how we did, by the way. I kept going to some more and more and more and got quite a few stuff. Things. We got quite, quite a few stuff. <laughs> Ooh, there's a classic Minecraft song I haven't heard in a while. Oh, what's that? Oh, wasn't that supposed to work on you? Today's comment question of the Dizay comes from Muhammad Medhat. Hey. Med. What you did... What you did to be that good at building? <laughs> I'm assuming that's how you asked that question. Am I good at building? You think so? Yeah, I mean, I'm not bad. I'm not good either. I'm good, but I'm not great. I'm mediocre? I'm somewhere in there. I know my flaws in building. Um, like, for example, I know what I could get better at. I just choose not to. It's like, it's weird. And I will admit why, because it's hard. And that's like... My, one of my favorite things I want to conquer one day is making custom spruce trees. You know, kind of like Grian's, or Scar does Minecraft. Is that, no, Scar plays, Scar something. Scar does Minecraft, is that his name? Scar, you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> he makes fabulous custom trees, and they're just so hard to make, so I ignore them. <laughs> um, but literally everything you see, uh, the best way to get good at building in Minecraft in my opinion, is to start off looking at other people's builds. So let's say you want to build a very basic, small medieval house. Don't just go into Minecraft and just start giving it your best shot. I mean, you can. You can yield some very unique <laughs> results like that. But my opinion is, is just go to like Google and type in Minecraft medieval house. And just scroll through images forever until something sparks your eye. Like your interest or catches your eye and you see the style you want to build and now don't copy that block for block look at how they did it and then build it in your own way like maybe a different layout or something look at windows how they're done and this goes for modern or just any build in general just like give it a quick google or youtube search and kind of check out what people are doing it gives you a bit of a push on how to approach it at first and then as you start building you can notice different ways you can make it your own. Thank you for your question. I've been thinking here, in the next few episodes, I actually wouldn't mind starting to transform this area right around in here to like a modern civilization, somewhat. So I'd finish that, to make it obviously a finished factory. God, that'll be today. And take these ugly squares and maybe add some, not pixel art, but art on the outside to make them look like the outsides of buildings, you know? Maybe add some windows, and then we can build some buildings around here and add some roads. We can finally finish this parking lot that's taking forever. Yeah, I'm going to brainstorm some. I'll see you in the next episode, though. Don't worry. It's not going to be a long time until I upload again like I have been doing. It'll be in the next day or two. I'll see you there. Bye-bye. No. 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 No save why not equip <laughs>